Hey, welcome to Everyday Jewish Mom. My kids have a two hour delay from school and it's Friday, so we are going to try to make challah in a bag. Hi. Using this taste made challah in a bag recipe, except I am leaving out the orange zest and cardamom. All right, so we're gonna stir that up. What did we give it to eat? Um, sugar. Sugar. So we have water and the yeast and then a little bit of sugar. So our yeast has something to eat. And then we're gonna let it sit for five minutes. Okay, while we were waiting for our yeast to bloom, we pulled together our other ingredients. Sugar, and flour, and oil, and salt, and eggs, and our recipe, and a bag! Look, our yeast has bloomed. It's foamy. No, it's so Sky. What's in our bag? Yeast and sugar and oil and salt. And now we need to close it up and smush it around a little bit. Hey, hey, what are you doing? We've run into a problem. Our bag is dripping. So we are going to transfer to another bag. Now we're adding our flour. All right, we are supposed to mush it until everything is fully saturated. It's supposed to take three minutes, but I think little hands might take a little bit longer. All right, we got it all mixed, or mostly mixed. And now we just need to leave it flat on the counter so that it can rise for an hour. Okay, here is our dough. It's actually a little bit, you can see the kind of poof in the bag. It sat on the counter for 40 minutes and then it really wasn't rising, probably because our house is cold and this counter is cold. So I put it into the oven. I have a bread proofing setting for my oven that's about 100 degrees and with a little warmth then it started to poof up. Okay, so now we're supposed to knead it for about three minutes and that will incorporate everything into kind of a tighter ball. It'll be a little helpful also because some of our corners were a little more wet than the middle and things like that. So I'm going to knead. Okay, here is the kneaded, here is the kneaded dough. It's one nice big ball. I would guess that this dough did not rise enough. I probably should have given it a little extra time to rise because it's such a cold day. I cut the big dough into three pieces. I use a pizza cutter for this and the kids have their own. Okay, so this dough is not very stretchy. Oh, see, it rips like that. So I wasn't able to roll it the way I normally would with hollow dough. I had to squeeze it. Mama. All right, so here are our final challahs. Mine is not the prettiest, but it, you know, I think it'll be okay. We're supposed to let it rest for 15 minutes. I think I'm going to let it go a little while longer so maybe it can get in that rise that it didn't get in earlier. All right. I, all right, so I let the loaves have a second rise. You can see it plumped up nicely. It's still not very pretty, but I'm sure it will be yummy. And we are putting on the egg wash and we're just gonna paint it up and put it in the oven. All right, recipe said bake for 40 minutes. This is 35, but my oven tends to run hot and I have to get my little one to preschool and I just can't stall any longer. So there it is. All right, so the verdict is that it is yummy. It doesn't have eggs in it, so it's not like the traditional challah flavor, but it's still delicious. It was a fun thing for me to do with my kids. If I do it again, I might look for a different recipe and definitely let it rise for a little longer. Let me know in the comments below what you do with your kids when you're stuck in the house on a cold day or a really hot day, depending on where you're living. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I put out videos all year long on Jewish things that you can do with your kids.